Hello YouTube family and welcome to my little summary of my 2020 victory garden. I will be commenting on my fruit and vegetable crops from last year one by one and I will be starting with tomatoes without delay. This year I had a dozen tomato plants all in pots with poor soil and they all produced significantly. I had eight peppers which I harvested a handful's worth from the horn varieties also in pots. I had eggplants in pots, which I only got one from. The majority of these were planted pretty late in the season. I also planted some squash in a pot, but it got powdery mildew. And the squash I planted late in the ground with poor soil produced nothing. However, the orient cucumbers I planted late in poor soil did significantly well. One of them produced five alone and the other one about three. The lemon cucumber was planted maybe in June or July as a start, and it was really slow to grow, but it eventually produced five to six lemon cucumbers. I planted a pumpkin between one and two months late, added some nutrients to the soil, and it was able to push out one small little pumpkin for me, but I am very proud of that pumpkin. The corn I planted late didn't give me any corn. It tried though. Bless their little husks. The coal crops were planted in April. That was not the time for these crops. I, I understand this now. I planted them though because the greenhouse that I worked at had a bunch and I just wanted to give it a try because they were just they were just gonna get tossed anyways. So, um, but then I also planted some onions, later beets, lettuce, and chard. Most all planted late and all planted in poor soil. The lettuce was planted at a good time though and they produced quite a lot of crop. I didn't use most of it though because it was just too much for me and even though I'm vegan, I, I rarely eat salads, truth be told. Um, but I also, we, me and my roommate also planted sugar snap peas, which produced way too much for me and my roommates to eat. But I would totally grow them again because they are such a treat and a, a wonderful snack when roaming the garden. And my strawberries, I got small, and so I didn't get much from them, but I expect a very nice bounty next year because I put them in bigger pots, so they will be producing more for sure. Okay, so I also wanted to include what I gained from my 2020 garden experience, which has given me much insight from individual problems to general practices. The first is the importance of planting at the appropriate time, whether seed or start. I know I, I got mixed signals from Mother Nature when I saw my plants growing during the during the growing season, but was disappointed when they flowered too late or a pest got to them because of the bad timing. I also learned to make sure your soil is nutritious. If your plants are not provided with the necessary energy to grow and produce for you, then your efforts will have been in vain. I also learned to get rid of diseased crops before the disease has time to spread. Though some crops can still produce while diseased, the longer they are exposed to the garden, the wider damage that they can do, not just to your garden, but to your neighbors and the greater community, because you can actually be helping the disease to mutate conditions and spread. Although with annuals, it's not always worth effort. It's best to just take preventative measures. Plant disorders can be more easily solved. Plants may have a disorder that was caused by nutrient imbalance or other abiotic factor. And when the cause is remedied, the plant can regain its health. Make sure that your tomatoes get enough water or the fruit will crack. To increase tomato yields, pinch the suckers off before they grow over an inch as you select main branches. When seeding basil, keep multiple plants in a bunch because they support each other and they grow better together. And then tip off the basil plants once they establish two to three nodes because it will increase your production and it will grow into a much more like bushier plant or collection of plants instead of vertical stems that just produce a few leaves. Plant companion plants with your crops. This can be used to increase flavor and the plants can support each other in various ways like supplying nutrients or, de or deterring pests. Add mulch to crops that benefit from it and to prevent future weeding labor for yourself. One important thing that I learned from my gardening journey was ethical crop breeding. By only growing and selecting the healthiest crops, we can ensure that they pass on the best genetics. If you allow weak plants to grow in your garden, the pollinators will spread their genetics and even if you don't save the seeds, your neighbors might. And it would be a shame if their crops were inhibited by the poor genetics from your crops. Only the strongest, healthier crops should be grown. Cut back the weak ones while they're young. This should ensure their survival of the best. And save your seeds. There are many garden crops that you can save seed from. That's 
super easy. Whole crops produce an abundance of seeds. If you just let one of the healthiest plants go to seed, you will have more than you get in the little dinky seed packet that you get in the grocery store or some gardening supply. I had so much that I put them in smaller packages and I like gave them out to my neighborhood. So if I can grow tomatoes in a pot with poor soil and get a good yield, then you can too. And despite my amateur gardening skills, I got a lot of food, sun, fresh air, and a better understanding of gardening and the natural world. I feel like I have improved the relationship I have with nature and further understand my responsibilities as a steward of the planet. And side note, um, I was supposed to make a video of a winter garden for 2020, but a lot of things happened and I didn't get around to it but it was still worth it. And kudos to all the other gardeners that tried winter gardening this year. Good job, guys, good job. Thanks for watching. And if you got something out of this video, please click the appropriate button. A wise soul once said, unhappiness is the hunger to get, happiness is the hunger to give. And it is my hope that you will share what you've learned and share what you grow because you reap what you sow. I wish you all luck on your present and future gardening projects. Live long and prosper.